Hello, beautiful beings. Let's dive in and remember our greatness together. Today I'm talking about our God spark. I'm talking about how that can be translated into song through our voices. And um, I love doing this. I've been writing songs this way since I guess about for about 25 years. And I'm excited to talk about this topic. My name is Rebecca Abraxas and I love just helping people remember their greatness through vocal awareness, diving deep and uh, raising our vibration. So God spark. What I, I feel the God spark is, is that is that authentic beingness that we are. Now in this 30 day series, I've talked a lot about becoming that open flute. And what I mean by that open flute is that, you know, all of our programming and our kind of egoic nature and kind of our personality kind of goes out here and has less um, uh, input. <laughs> and the open flute allows that God spark to be more of the influence in our lives, especially when we're talking about our voice and about song. So through this 25 year process that I have been playing with, it's been uh, my just learning about my voice and performing on stage has really shown me kind of how to open that flute up and have that sensation of being sung, right? Being sung and uh, being lived through that God spark. You can call it consciousness, infinite beingness, um, whatever it is, our spiritual essence. But through this 25 year period, I started to notice that on stage, this kind of open flute, soaring, flying sensation with spirit was happening. And when I got off stage, uh, not so much. And I was like, I wanna, li I wanna be like that all the time. And I tell the story a lot because it's, it was, it's been really pivotal in my, my life to remember that sensation and somatically mark it and say, yeah, that's what I'm going for. So long story short, I, I had used to have a really long yoga practice and my yoga practice would start to help open that, that flute up. Now in this series, we've talked about yoga and I've given you guys a yoga practice and we really dived into um, the triangle pose because that really went into the three, um, kind of the three little parachutes in our body to how to you know open those up and that's the pelvic floor the diaphragm and the soft palate. And so if you haven't seen those videos, they're, they're invaluable to really start opening up your physical body. Uh, and then we talked about a lot about mind stuff because mental programming and beliefs and thought patterns really are a huge piece of uh, opening our voice. Those belief systems from even pre-verbal can really get in the way of us uh, feeling um, free in our voice and feeling free in our lives to really be us. And so this God spark, this is, this is, this really uh, just excites me. This God spark embodied in this body, whatever it, <laughs> it is, molecules bouncing around that make a dense form. Um, but we're, it, we have this spiritual kind of soul journey in these kind of dense forms. And the God spark in this embodiment will never happen again. You, my friend, are this unique, amazing being that has so much to offer the world. And that's why I love helping people claim their voice back because in claiming that voice, what they're really doing is claiming themselves. And they're saying, I'm here. I'm here to be the unique expression of God in the universe. Here I am, shine my light without regret and without a sense of like, ooh, holding back or, oh, you know, so that's been my journey is to find that sense of showing up unapologetically, showing up, surrendering spirit through me with my voice, whether I'm singing, whether I'm silent, because, you know, that's a voice too, whether I'm um, speaking at a public speaking event, whether I'm networking, whether I'm speaking in a relationship, showing up more as you, meaning the God spark through this, you know, this body and personality. 
And so it gets, you know, confusing. The, the personality is a little flavor of our ego, but it's really that wounded ego that gets in the way. Uh, we really do need a little bit of our personality ego to be that unique spark, or we would just be the oneness, right? Um, which we are. And uh, so, yeah, it's like it is and it isn't kind of thing. So today, what I wanted to do was tell you a few of the steps that I do to just tune into that spark and open the flute. And I wanted to do a little just singing for you all. All right, so um, I don't know if I can remember my steps. I wrote this all out in my email program for people. It's like five steps. Um, let's see. The first step is um, your intention. Your intention to open up, remember, open up your flute and remember your greatness, remember your God spark. Um, number two is shake the body out a little bit or do some of the warm ups. My last video I talked about uh, vocal warm ups, okay? You know, just open the body, the physical body up a little bit, all right? Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit still. Um, stillness is really where all my songs have come from. Stillness, a moment of stillness in that pause is really where all the sound comes from. So stillness is going to be key. So you have your intention, then you have your kind of warming up and shaking out the physical body, and then you have stillness. From stillness, you come out and you ask a question. The question is, what does my God spark or what does the light within me have to say? And then you get a pen and you start writing in a journal without thinking. It's almost like an automatic writing, like being channeled, but you're not really channeling because it's you. You're asking, your, um, you're asking yourself as spirit, you know, what? What do, what do I have to share? And you're getting out of your thinking mind and getting into your knowing heart. So cool process. So write that down if there's anything there. And then from there, you start to play with the words. Now, if you have an instrument, you sometimes I just start kind of plucking around and then I hear a sound and I'm like, oh, there it is. That wants, that wants to come alive today. And then from there, what happens is this, the words come alive with sound and with a little melody, all right? So it's just this really organic process of stillness and listening and being willing to feel worthy enough and confident enough to sing the words on the page. And, you know, I really encourage you to, t I'm like, where's my phone? It's, it's actually recording me. <laughs> I, I encourage you to uh, press the record button either on your video or your um, vocal recording device on your phone. And that's what I do. I just keep playing it over and over. Or you just sing it without recording it and just enjoy it for yourself. Sometimes you like keeping them. They're like nice mantras for yourself. And so the stillness into the writing, into just the spontaneous singing is how a lot of my songs and my chants have come through. And I've been a songwriter for about 25 years and I've written songs and chants and just, you know, just uh, sentences and just, and I love just playing with sound, the sound in my voice and the sound of, of melody, all the things that come through. And I guess the key, the key to all of this is, would you be willing to receive your own voice, meaning the voice of stillness that comes through, the voice of spirit that comes through, that's your voice, and then the, the outward uh, voice that comes out. So there's the inner voice and the outer voice, right? The silent voice and the sound voice. And would you be willing to receive it? Now, you know, we may on a, on a, you know, hearing that for the first time, of course, yeah, I'll receive. But then when it comes down to like, really like, no, will you receive your own voice? And like, you're like, oh, energetically you kind of feel, oh, I haven't been receiving. 
okay. And then the next question is, to open up the funnel is, you know, what energy, space, and consciousness can I be to open up more fully to receiving my voice? That's a little different. It can feel like the energy shift happen when we ask that question. So, would you be willing to receive your voice more? And that's the process of singing with your God spark and opening, being, being sung by your open flute. It is my, my, my hope and my wish that you uh, found some opening and freedom with your voice and your life through this 30 days together. And if you would like more on vocal awareness, consciousness work, awakening, singing, please subscribe to my Rebecca Abraxas page here, uh, channel here and um, just click the bell so you see all the new content and any comments or questions or um, please put them in the comments and I'd love to hear your song as well. So uh, I'm gonna just do a little spontaneous singing for you all. So from my God Spark. So I'm gonna be still for a few moments and then I'm going to uh, just start spontaneously singing and following and receiving the sound, sound wave, and seeing where it goes. It's so fun to do. I was in a park yesterday and um, just sat on a towel and just let, let the sound come out. It's so fun. And every once in a while, an actual song with words comes out too. So, um, so I hope you enjoy my the god spark through my song and you know if you give this a try why don't you share in the comments your god spark through your song today as well so here we go so stillness first tuning in expanding yourself out so you feel like an open flute What does my being have to express today?
sit with it. You sit with the frequency that it just created for you, with you. And you don't go into judgment about anything that showed up. And you're going to be really surprised. Like, the sounds I just made and like the, the vowels and so, or the, how that just went down, I don't think I've ever sang like that before. So, you know, you just never know what's going to show up. I remember sing, doing this and singing with a client who was in hospice and the family had me come sing to her. And I remember just tuning in to the intention of angels and just to be a contribution to her. And all of a sudden, I started to, I don't even know these sounds I have never made before. They were kind of like Indian raga st uh, style kind of thing. And um, I don't know where it came from. But when we, we set the intention to receive and be a contribution to ourselves and others, like, you know, we don't know what's going to come through. And that's the exciting, fun part of it. You know, I've learned lots of covers. Uh, today I have two senior shows where I go to healthcare centers and I, I play cover songs. You know, I play the oldies and I play some folk for them. And it's fun. But I tell you, just getting into this creation mode with sound, um, and it, it was, it's been really fun over the years to write songs, but lately it's getting even more fun to just open up to the field, the singing field, as Chloe Goodchild calls it, one of my teachers, Chloe Goodchild. She has this body of work called the Naked Voice, and she calls it the singing field. I don't know if she got, she might have gotten that term too from Rumi, but um, the singing field is where we kind of receive the sound from. And I've been having so much fun just doing wordless, spontaneous singing, just like I shared with you. Um, and just getting in the process of getting out of judgment, getting out of my own way, playing with my voice, see where it wants, where it wants to go, what it can do. Um, and it's so, so fun. And this is where your God spark comes alive when the judgment is put on the side there and you get to just play, play with creation energy. And how does that in turn inspire your life? How does that free your life to go play with creation energy in all areas of your life? When we're willing to do it in this area with a voice, then all of a sudden we create this bigger platform. <gasps> Maybe I want to just play with creative energy everywhere in my life. So uh, that's fun. That's a fun way of looking at life. Anyway, my beautiful beings... Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for following the 30 day series. If this is the first time you're seeing this video um, in the series, there's about, you know, 28 or 29 more uh, and go back. There's lots of great juicy material about vocal awareness, awakening with the voice, freeing your life and um, getting rid of old belief patterns and yoga practices to open up. And um, yeah, it's a cool series. So yeah. Um, and I will be getting on with some other content on my YouTube channel, this, this channel, Rebecca Abraxas, with just more awakening and um, consciousness topics. So...
Blessings, blessings. Go be your creative spark in the world that no one else can be. Go shine on and shine bright. Bye.